if you have a problem going on in your life, unlike Kay Lee here, hit us up <laughs> at thebirdshow.com and we'll turn around and we will mention it to Bird Show fam and get you guys some advice. And in this case, should she say something to her boyfriend about his unhealthy eating habits or should she keep her mouth shut about the whole thing? All right, there's a trigger warning to this email as it does mention eating disorders. Hey, Bert Show, would love some advice. I've been in a long distance, uh, long distance relationship with Riley for about three months now. I'm 24 years old and didn't date for about three years before this because I just never met a man that felt like home. And I'm very comfortable being single. Anyway, Riley and I have moved fast naturally and we both really care for each other and love each other. He feels like a best friend to me. So when I meet someone as wonderful as this, I have to dive in because most boys are just ridiculous and dumb and I want nothing to do with him. All this being said, I feel like the worst person in the world because of my qualm with Riley. He doesn't eat healthy at all, and he is not motivated to work out on his own. He put on about 50 pounds before I met him due to depression from a breakup and then COVID, which is absolutely understandable. I totally respect that and would never want to make anyone feel bad about their body at any point in their life. Now, a little backstory on me. I grew up with a bad eating disorder and have always had a toxic relationship with food skipping meals for weeks, purging, you name it. About 11 years later, I am so proud to have pulled myself out of that darkness and reached a very healthy place. Although I would be lying if I said I didn't get down about my body every once in a while. I'm also a workout instructor and absolutely love anything revolving around moving my body. Working out is my happy place. And I've worked really hard to have a strong body that endures that, the physical activities I want to pursue. I hate to even say the words because I feel so guilty. But am I an a-hole for feeling annoyed or really or, or weirdly frustrated when my boyfriend eats super unhealthy and then thinks nothing of it? I would never say anything about wanting him to lose weight or eat healthy, but I do find myself overcompensating and eating healthier or less because he eats more, maybe as a way to control something. I don't know. <laughs> I've really done some soul searching about this and meditated on these thoughts because I can't put this aside once and for all in my relationship. I don't think it's fair to continue on and even think these negative thoughts about him. I know how it feels to be put down, and I really don't want him to feel like I don't accept him for exactly who he is. It's confusing because I really do have so much love for him, but my mood changes completely when talking about meals, etc. Example. The other day I said I wanted to start cooking more to eat healthier. And he laughed and said, I just ate six donuts for lunch. Like, dude, six? My mood shifted, and I became anxious and annoyed. I felt absolutely ridiculous when he asked me what was wrong. I just tried to brush it off and change the subject because, again, I would never say anything to make him feel bad. I know this means that I still have work to do personally on this subject, and I take that very seriously. I'm letting my past eating disorder experiences and the modern-day toxic workout culture project my fears and insecurities mm. onto him. But at the same time, I really do value health and fitness and want my partner to be on the same page as me. When does this cross the threshold to a lifestyle difference that is a relationship deal breaker? I feel like a terrible mean person and have so much guilt for even thinking this about him. I've braced myself to be completely roasted by y'all and your listeners. <laughs> Ugh, toxic Tina. Uh, one eight five five Bird Show. Um, I don't know how to attach to this here because eating right, being healthy, staying fit has always been important to me. But I also know that if I wasn't eating healthy or there was something physically about me that Tiffany saw and was like, you know what? The love handles, dude, not so great. It wouldn't offend me. It would not offend me as a guy. But it's a totally different mentality. Yeah, I don't know how healthy the reasoning for her to want to talk to him about this is, but I, I feel like if she just genuinely wants him to adapt to a better lifestyle and eat more healthy, I would want to know too. Like, I, I wouldn't be offended at all if she just kind of tried to get me to eat better. So what, would the, what words could she use to you as a dude to not offend you? She doesn't say here that he's 100% satisfied with the way he looks. It doesn't seem like he cares all that much. So... What words could be said to you as a guy for you to say, okay, I see where she's coming. I'm not really offended by that. I'll make a change. For me, it, like, I don't even think she would have to bring up, like, anything physical. Just kind of telling me that you want me to live a healthier lifestyle and you want me to eat better so that I can be around longer would be fine. Like, I wouldn't be offended by that at all. And I, yeah, I'd do it. Dobby? This, she knows she's wrong. She, she states several times in here that she's wrong. Um, she's feeling guilty because she knows she's wrong. 
Uh, and she's not as healthy as she thinks she is. If she sees someone else binging and she feels like she needs to eat less to have some control, that is not healthy. She needs to be seeing a therapist. And just as um, just as serious of a eating disorder as anorexia or bulimia is, is binging and overeating. Cassie, what you got? Um, I don't think that she is an awful person or an a-hole. I think that she struggles with food issues and I think it's a trigger for her. And I think the fact that she keeps saying she would never say anything shows that she is a good person and she understands the impact of crit critiquing someone's food who hasn't asked for help can have on someone. Mm. She's not an a-hole for dealing with this struggle internally. Like when you battle food issues, it's a long, long struggle. Even if you don't have a full-blown eating disorder, disordered eating is still something you can struggle with. Mm. I don't think she says anything to her, the boyfriend. It's not her place. If he comes and says, oh, man, I got diagnosed with fatty liver disease or my cholesterol is super high. I need help bringing it down. Cool. He opened the door. Otherwise, you need to do what Dobby said and go start seeing a therapist and start working on your own issues and why you're overcompensating in your life and feeling the need to exert control over someone else. Because you see him as out of control and has this freedom that you have never had and you're worried for him. I think that's where it all stems from because you know how it affected you and not everyone deals the same way. So... Don't say anything. Go see some therapy. And you are a good person. You're not an a-hole. The Bird Show. <laughs>